it's Lauren Messiah, and guess what we're doing today? We are in the anti-style type series. Whoop, whoop, yep. So if you are just joining us for the first time, the anti-style type series are the types of style that we want to avoid. These are style types that we can easily slip in and out of, and they're not good because they don't make us feel good about ourselves. They don't show us in the best light to other people, our families, our coworkers. Now, the cool thing about style is it's messaging that you can control. Like, isn't that cool if you really think about it? Change your mindset from, oh, uh, people should like me for me, I can dress however I want, to this is the message you're sending and you get to be in charge of that. So these anti-style types, you could have like lost your way a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna help show you what these style types are and the message that they're sending and how to fix it. So if you missed any of the videos in the series, please go back and check them out. But today's anti-style type is Messy Mommy. Okay, so who is Messy Mommy and what is she wearing? Messy Mommy, she's a warrior, okay? She's awesome, she kicks ass, she just freaking brought life into the world. She is, you know, juggling her child, her life, her family, her career, like she's just, Messy Mommy has got a lot going on, okay? So I don't wanna discount any of that. Like, I'm not a mother, okay? So I'm not like pretending that I have this experience, but I've styled a lot of mothers and I know a lot of mothers. That's what happens when you're old and you're not a mom. Everyone else around you is a mom. So, you know, I kind of got a clue on this. Um, so I don't want to discount any of the awesomeness of being a mom. But what I've noticed is a lot of moms kind of you know, in the beginning, it's tough. Like you're sleep deprived, like, come on, the outfit's not your top priority. But that behavior, it starts to just kind of like keep going. And all of a sudden, the kid's 10 and you're still like wearing your maternity pants or whatever, like maybe not that bad, but you're still not taking care of your appearance. And you're like, oh, it's because I'm a mom, I'm so busy. You know, there comes a time where like we need to get it together. So there is a difference between like, I'm a brand new mom, my hair is on fire, and this has gone on long enough, and I'm messy mommy. So messy mommy, her clothes, they might match, they might not match. They might be stained with spit up, they might be clean that day. They might be maternity clothes still. I mean, they might be buttoned, they might not be buttoned. Like, homegirls, a wreck. And I've seen new moms that aren't a wreck, okay? So don't use that, that as an excuse because some of them are having it together. But you just look freaking messy. You look frazzled. And hopefully you know by now that the way that you look is going to affect your behavior. So if you are frazzled and sleep deprived and you look frazzled and sleep deprived, you're gonna be more frazzled and sleep deprived. But if you give yourself a minute to kind of pull it together, it helps you get some like semblance of control in your life. So messy mommy in her, in her messy clothes, let's think about you know what's really going on. What's really going on is of course you just had a child, of course you're a mom and that has a lot of responsibilities. But this is another example of not putting yourself first. So after talking to a lot of mothers, what I've discovered is you lose a lot of your identity and a lot of your sense of self. Um, one of my mom friends was like, dude, you're like a walking food source. She's like, I'm no longer me, I'm food, <laughs> you know? So you kind of forget who you are because now you've taken on this new role of a, of a mom. So, you know, when you're in an identity crisis, whether it's motherhood or weight gain, or you know, changing a relationship status, you just, you really don't know who you are. And that sucks, right? It totally sucks. So because of that, you just kind of do what you need to do to get by, which is just putting clothes on your body so you're not 
nude. <laughs> so what's really going on is you've just lost yourself, but the good news is you can find yourself, okay? Anytime you go through a major life change, I want you to reassess your style, okay? Now, maybe right in the moment, it's too soon to do that, but anytime like I advance in my career, or I change relationship status, or I have a new goal that I'm trying to reach, I need to reinvent what the outside looks like because my insides have totally changed and they're going to change more. So now that you're a mom, even if you've been a mom for a minute and you know that you're messy, you know that you're a messy mommy, um, reinvent yourself. Who is that new person? Who do you want to show up for? Who do you want to be for your family and for your children? What does that look like? So taking time to kind of craft and curate that new sense of who you are and what that person wears is very important. So what is the fix? You're like, damn, Lauren, that sounds hard to do. You can do it, okay? I've got plenty of tools to help you with that. But a great first step for a messy mommy is do something to take care of yourself. Now, this could be a manicure, this could be a facial, it could even just be going to the movies by yourself for two hours just to get some freaking quiet. It's like hitting the reset button and doing something just completely selfish. I don't have a family, I told you this, I don't have kids or anything, but I find when I need to reset, when I'm not taking care of myself and giving it all to my employees, to my career, to my company, I need to reset. And it is getting a manicure or getting a facial and being like, oh yeah, me, I'm important. So I, I definitely suggest doing something pampering. And then the next thing that I would suggest is start fantasy shopping. Now, it may seem a little out of control to start buying things for yourself because you really want to provide for your family, but start fantasy shopping. Go online, fill up your cart, think about the new things that you're going to wear when you know, you're ready to buy new clothes financially or when your body's back to a certain size where you feel comfortable purchasing clothing. I know the bounce back from having a baby sometimes takes a minute. But even having that time just to like fantasy shop online or window shop at a store, that's self-care and that's going to help get you out of that messy mommyhood because that is not a cute look. Think about your baby. Your baby doesn't want to be like, ooh, look at that whack mom, that's mine. They want to be like, dang, my mom's cool. So those are my tips for messy mommy. No more messy mommy, okay? We want fabulous mom. Make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because this is not the end of the anti-style types. There are more anti-style types and they're only going to get better from here. So thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video.